Hello, Yarna Bees. It's Sandy. How you doing? <sighs> well, today has been a bit of a day already, and it just started. Um, this morning, I had to get up early, and I had to drive an hour away from home. Um, <laughs> uh, two weeks ago, a week ago, um, I got a phone call from George and he said that he went to a customer's house where the customer had bled on his carpet and he was the the man was on blood thinners and yeah so George went over there to clean it and then tried to get the blood out of the carpet and he mixed two chemicals together that he shouldn't have by because the first chemical didn't get the blood out so he was like okay well let's try this and those two chemicals you don't put together uh and so hydrogen hydrogen peroxide and ammonia together make what ladies hair dye or hair bleach so um yeah <laughs> so i got a phone call from george saying um I got a little problem so for those of you that are new that don't know I took a carpet dyeing course um, months ago and I haven't used it yet like I, I haven't done a job yet and I wasn't even sure if I wanted to do a job and the only reason why I, I decided to do this one was to help George out so I went there last week and tried to fix 10 spots on the carpet. Some were little, a lot of them were bigger. Um, it was an old, it was like a 25 year old carpet. It was a blue gray and it was kind of like that, maybe a little, maybe a bit lighter. So, for my first job, I was a little stressed out to say the least. Oh, look at me, I'm just a mess. Um, so I did the 10 spots. I felt pretty good about it, except for the first spot I did that was by the bathroom. Um, it seemed a little too light. So I thought, well, we'll just wait till it dries and see what happens. So sure enough, I get a phone call. All the other spots look fine except this one didn't so i says okay well i'll come back out and uh and see what i can do so i did that this morning yeah <sighs> i did the best i could with it i don't know i i'm not happy with it but as long as the customer's happy great but i don't think he's going to be happy with it so i'm just like <gasps> So I warned George, you might be getting a phone call. Uh, <clears throat> but I did what I could with it, right? And it is what it is. So there you have it. That was my morning. Will I be doing more jobs? I don't know. We'll see. George wants me to. <laughs> but I, I don't know. We'll see. I felt pretty good about this job. I wasn't overly nervous. I seemed to, I mean, it, it seemed okay. So anyway, uh, and today is a big day. I had to rush home real fast because I'm expecting something to come from Amazon. 2021, guys. I guess I did some sort of a, a New Year's resolution without even knowing it because George and I bought a treadmill. It was a good idea at the time, but now proof is in the pudding. Got to use it. <laughs> so, so we're waiting for that to arrive. <sighs> but that's okay because we're going to put it in the living room. And then I've got my big screen um, smart TV and I can watch YouTube videos on it. So I'll just sit there and truck along on the treadmill and watch you guys. 
<laughs> right? And watched videos and, and yeah. So, well, I'll try and video it um, when we get it set up and everything and see how that goes. Okay, what else is happening? Let's talk about this. I've been getting some people saying, when are you going to talk about that sweater that's beside you? I'm like, oh yeah, I guess I better do that. <laughs> oh, okay. This sweater was kind of inspired by Alt Knots. Alt Knots did a replica uh, of like a kind of a replica of a sweater that is by Nicole, uh, I can't remember her name now. Um, she's a big fashion designer, apparently. And these sweaters go for $400. Crazy. But it's a knitted sweater. It's big, bulky knitted sweaters that are going for stupid amounts of money. But, um, so... Yeah, so I watched her video and I was like, hmm, I bet I could do something like that. She did a, a video tutorial, but I didn't follow her tutorial. I kind of went, oh, let's try this. So I made my own tutorial, uh, my own pattern. And <clears throat> this is the result. Um, it's not really meant for a bigger person like me. It's more for a medium-sized person. It's a crop top um, type of sweater. Let's see if I can see it's a cropped sweater. Uh, so, oh, sorry guys. Um, but it's big and chunky and it's it feels really, really nice on. If it wasn't such a cropped one, I'd probably wear this myself. Um, I, I'm going to make another one, I think, but I just absolutely love it. Unfortunately, the price of the yarn that is used for something like this is, it's pricey, but I already had it in my stash. So I thought, well, I'm, I gotta do something with that yarn, right? So let's try that out. Okay. So what did I use? I used five skeins of Premier Mega Tweed. Okay, that's this. And the color, see, I can never find a pair of glasses when I need them. Um, there's 74 yards in a skein 64 meter 68 meters which isn't a very a, a lot right because it's a super bulky it's 97 percent acrylic and three percent viscose which is the tweedy part i would imagine and the color is oh yeah okay Black tweed. <laughs> okay. All that for nothing. <laughs> Black tweed. So um, it's really, really chunky. It's wonderful. And then the sleeves, which I love because <laughs> they're just so squishy. I used uh, Barcelona. And this is 328 yards, 300 meters. It's a, a bulky five. And this color is hazel. Okay. But, oh, it's just so... Mm, 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 mm. Hang on. I'm going to put it on. Okay. So here it is. You can see it's like... It just goes to my... Just under my fat stomach. <laughs> but it's a crop. And the sleeves are fairly long. But it's like so comfy and chunky and you know but it's like nice and warm 
it's forget all the mess behind me here <laughs> but it is it's i just love it i really love it so yeah so there it is okay so now i got a naked mannequin <laughs> so we'll just push that over there there we go okay I'll straighten you guys out a little bit so yeah it's really chunky and warm and i just i love it it's one of these sweaters that you can put your hands in and just like oh, nice and comfy so there you guys go um i am i doing a video tutorial on it probably probably it worked up really really fast uh it took me i don't even know how long um a better part of the day i guess i started maybe 10 o'clock in the afternoon or in the morning got it finished by dinner time i guess so if you're a fast crocheter this is going to go really quickly i used a 19 i think it was a size 19 hook so yeah it's it goes really quick but um love it and that was just, and it took me that long just because i didn't sit down and and work on it com consistently um i had other things to do too so yeah um another pattern it's a paid for pattern that i bought uh but it i as soon as i saw it i was just in love with it um i'll put a picture here um i'll put the link for the pattern down below if you are interested uh if you like turtleneck sweaters this is great i haven't finished it i just started it but i'll tell you there's one part when you're doing the end of the um or when you're joining the collar when you're starting this next row of doing the peak she doesn't say to fasten off and then start at the 16th stitch she doesn't say that she just says start at the 16th stitch <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> so i got all confused and I ended up having my peak over here. I had to frog the whole frog that whole piece and start again. The one thing I don't like about this, they look great in her pictures, but the one thing I don't like is the peak. You see how it's puckering? I don't like that at all. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to frog it back, get rid of the peak, and I'm going to do my own pattern. The collar is what I fell in love with. Um, I had no idea how to do this kind of a pattern. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do my own pattern and then have the call this collar on it. But uh I mean, it's an easy enough pattern. I don't know if it's the yarn I'm using or I don't know what the heck's going on, but I just don't like the way the peak is going on this. Um, I don't know if she blocked hers and that's why it's, but I, I don't like blocking. It's not my thing. So um, yeah, so I think I'm going to frog it back and I'm going to do my own shawl part and see how it goes so yeah so i'll let you know <laughs> i'm probably going to work on that today um yes what else uh do, 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 do. i finished ashley's birthday present which i wasn't able to show you before but then i found out that she's not really watching my videos so you know but it's just it's a basic um granny stitch blanket uh 
but there were some appliques that I wanted to put on it that I don't think I can put on them because it's a granny stitch. There's too many holes in a granny stitch, so I may I might try and make a pillow or something to put the appliques on. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So that is it, I think. I, I'm thinking for this next sweater that I make, I'm thinking about using this. Bernat Velvet Plus. I'm thinking I'm going to try it with this. Mm -hmm. um, don't know how it's going to go, but uh, I'm kind of excited about it. Kind of excited about it. We'll see what happens. If the tutorial turns out great, <laughs> wonderful! But I'm going to be using that in black, so maybe I won't do the tutorial in those colors. I'm just looking at my yarn. Oh, mm, um, I don't know. Mm, maybe. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I think I have an idea. So stay tuned for that. Okay, guys, that's it for now. Uh... I will, I guess I'm going to talk to you tomorrow because I got to open up day five, wherever day five is for the seasons of new beginnings. I hope you guys are going over to Sandy's channel and checking that out too, because that's a lot of fun. Okay, so I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Bye. Hi guys, just a quick note. Sorry, the sun's coming in here now. Uh... Um, I got a message, an email message from Kim at Kim's Crochet and Knits. And she had mentioned that I made a little boo-boo in my tutorial for the beanie band. Uh, when I was doing the foundationless double crochet, apparently, I, I, I didn't notice it when I was doing the editing, but apparently I said in one, one stitch, I said to do, go in one loop, do one loop, then finish your double crochet. And then the others I said, do two loops and do double crochet. Do two. Because <laughs> uh, if you do one, it's going to screw you right up. So yeah, uh, I may have to go in and redo that or, or bleep it out or something. I'll have to go and find it. But yeah, so when you go in, you go in the, in the bottom loop, chain up twice then do your double crochet okay thanks guys sorry <laughs> i i it took me all day to make that video and i was tired and in pain and all that so i must have totally botched that so sorry guys okay if you have any questions email me at crochetacanada at gmail.com okay love you bye <laughs>